a lot of challenges with making algae commercially viable as a source or feedstock for alternative oil. And there's an engineering question and a chemistry question and the biochemistry of the pathways that are involved. So we're using the chemistry aspect, the small molecules, to basically signal to these pathways to increase the oil production. And we'd like to be able to basically turn on a pathway using that small molecule. Many of the same molecules that would be used for pharmaceutical drugs or similar types of molecules might also be relevant for algae pathways. In this case, we've discovered uh, molecules that are involved with kinase inhibitor pathways and also antioxidants. So simple molecules such as ones found in green tea and also uh, antioxidants found in your breakfast cereal. So my PhD work and my postdoctoral work was looking at small molecules for pharmaceutical applications, specifically how small molecules are important for treating diseases and investigating those pathways. Um, so there's a really important pathways about the cancer, uh, Alzheimer's disease, and um, infectious disease, many cases where these small molecules uh, are having an effect to help treat a disease. So it makes sense that if you can affect a pathway in a disease system or in a human being, that you could also affect it in an algae cell. So in this case, we're looking at it for a fuel application instead of a disease application. This is the first time where these types of techniques for screening uh, chemicals for biological pathways has been investigated for um, algae and biofuels research. There's definitely a lot of potential, but there's a lot of debate because there are still challenges that remain. But because these are producing oils simply using sunlight and carbon dioxide, that has a huge advantage.